Hello. Welcome back to another Ben Talk. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel and joining me as I explore the wide world of pens. For my regular viewers, you'll recognize this box. It's my first Caveco Collection pen. Yes, it's in special red extra fine nib because this will be with the new owners shortly and they bugged me so that's why I got to get the review out so the pen can move on. The sleeve slides right off and we see a nice tin metal box. Raised lettering, very nicely done. And we see some information in case you want to get in touch with them. Box made in CN. Hmm, interesting. We pop the lid. We'll see some literature, some pieces of paper, and the pen. That same identification there on this sleeve. The pen just slides right out. Not real crackly on the sound thing. And we see an interesting thin pen octagonal and we'll notice that a, the cap is engraved with a, a name the new owner of the pen same finial well similar finials top and bottom but we see the bottom finial has threads on it because that's how you post it and the cap comes off in little over three turns, so that's quite a bit. We'll notice a small section. And we'll also see some more engraving, so you know exactly what this pen is. And it's, it's lengthwise, it's okay without posting. But as we said, there's threads there, and the cap securely posts. And it doesn't really change the balance that much for me, so I could use it posted or unposted. That section's about as small as they get, but this is pencil size, and that's where I think it works. If we look at the section, we'll notice there's a nice rubber O-ring there, so when you tighten down the cap, it tightens against that O-ring, and these facets line up. You just unscrew the section, takes a number of turns, very fine threads there, and we'll see a blank cartridge and then a cartridge with ink. So that's what the pen comes with, but I was resourceful and I have lots of converters, so this one I found fits perfectly. I like the way that uh, design with that kind of like nice soft material there to connect to that little nub and that little metal band to keep it secure. So this is going to be used when we fill the pen. As you can see, it fits very securely and it fits inside the barrel, which I really appreciate. You could also probably use a long international if you wanted to. So we're going to give you some dimensions, find a suitable ink, ink it up and see how that extra fine Caveco nib number five which is in a lot of their pens, including the uh, pocket pen. See how it writes. Stay tuned. The pen came with a lot of literature. And this pen was uh, provided to me by Pen Heaven. I did a, a review of uh, their offerings, and I think they're a great place to buy. A lot of variety and good prices. Can't beat that. Also is a, an instruction booklet. And we see there's various filling systems, including a rollerball, pencil. And on this side, we have uh, some descriptions from Caveco and a warranty guarantee thing. And this is also a similar type of booklet. It talks about history of Caveco. I think that's very, very nice. And the other side is, again, more descriptions of the warranty in multiple languages. 
The other thing that was in here were some stickers. In case you want to mark something as Caveco. Do some advertising for them. So now it's time for some editorial comments, dimensions, a summary, and a writing sample. So this is a pen for somebody else. And I think they'll enjoy it quite a bit. At least they've enjoyed it so far. And they've been bugging me to finish the video so they can write with it. And that rubber O-ring lets you put those facets right in right spot. You know, you can turn it until it gets there. So it gives you a lot of leeway. It's not a sure stop. So the threads are single threaded. That's why it takes those three turns to get the cap off. But it is secure. I like that logo into the top of the cap finial. Something they've done for a while. And those knurls just add a little bit of touch to the design. I guess they wanted to do something similar to what the threads do here at this finial at the bottom of the barrel. That's nice the way they've engraved it or stamped it. Just some ink on ink on paint. And I like the way the engraving works. Nettle's also a stamped, you know, with paint. So if you want to do engraving, you can get probably multiple colors, multiple fonts. It doesn't hurt to ask if that's what you want. So let's give you the dimensions of the pen. You can spin off that cap so it can come off pretty quickly. Like I said, that section is about as thin as I would ever want. And it's actually, the diameter is larger right towards the end. So you get a nice increase and you get to feel that you're near the end of that section you can feel the threads in that step up but none of them are sharp and you can hold this anywhere like you could a pencil let's see how that nib puts down that writer's blood ink so this is the ink uh, we're going to put in the pen the bottle was sent to me by pen heaven i think they thought it would be a good ink to use with the pen and the ink seems to be somewhat famous it's interesting, but that's a small opening, and it will work well with that Caveco Collection pen. So overall, for an extra fine nib, it works well. And from what I've read from other people, Caveco nibs are pretty well liked. It took a, a little bit of writing, maybe a half a page, to have that nib just reach its sweet spot. So now it's good. Let's rate this pen. Okay, I'm going to give it a 9.3. It gets one check because it's made well, designed well. If I was going to rate this just on my feelings, it would rate lower, but I'm evaluating this pen for what it is, and it certainly hits the sweet spots for what it is designed to do. And I give it one check for being cute, the red color is nice. The red and gold and brass work together well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick review of an interesting pen. And now that I have one, I see tons of them, people talking about them here and there. So a pen that I didn't know existed until I got this, now all of a sudden becomes a pen that I see a lot of. Such is life. So I want to thank all of you for watching. Hope this video finds you safe, healthy, and happy. Enjoying pens. Enjoying exploring the world of pens. Enjoy that great variety that we have out there. And hopefully you find something that motivates you to put some ink on paper, write a letter, write in your journal.
doodle sketch. There's lots of things you can do with your pens. If we reach the end of this video, and we will say bye. This nib's certainly starting to grow on me, especially with this ink.